that down. Let's move on to this, shall we? You know, one of the films that I'm really looking forward to is Venom The Last Dance. I'm going to be going to see it in a couple of hours. Even though the critics really did not like the first one, I really did. Unapologetically so. I Mm. love that first one. I had a total blast with it. I even liked the second one. I, you know what's the funny thing is? The critics like the second one more. Yeah, 57%. And I liked it less. A- anyway, whatever. I, I still like it. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Now, the other day, the first reactions for uh, Venom 3 came out. And while a lot of them loved it and a bunch of them didn't like it, they all said the same thing. Like the people who didn't like it and the people who loved it, they all said the same thing. Mm-hmm. It's the best one of the trilogy. Like the people who really liked it, like this is awesome. It's the best one of the trilogy. And the people who didn't like it, it's like, it's not any good, but it is the best of the trilogy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, so exactly, right. like, that was kind of thing. Now, look, seven out of 10 times, the the first reactions usually line up, generally speaking, with what the full reviews are. Like, mm-hmm. you know, when the first reactions from Adam Webb were like, uh, the first reactions for Napoleon were, uh, the first reactions for Morbius were, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. Every once in a while, at least, a, a, not so semi-regularly the first reactions come out and they end up being like significantly more positive than the full reviews that come out you know we talked about this before a little bit about why that is i think part i think there's two reasons why one is that when people are just giving a first reaction and you're just limited to what twitter gives you Mm. you tend to want to say the positive things first And then when you get into your full review, you go into more of the negatives, right? I also think the second thing is this, and I I can attest to this myself when I used to go to to press screenings and stuff. If I didn't like a movie I just watched, I often wouldn't then tweet about it when it came out. Yeah. Not because I, I was nervous to, it's just, eh. And I just wouldn't bother tweeting about it. But when I would come out of a movie and I did really like it, well, then I'm more than... I'm more than uh, likely to fire out a quick tweet and say, hey, I really like this. So I think when you combine those two, you tend to focus more on the positive when you just have a limited thing you can say. And secondly, I think you're less likely to tweet out when you walk out of a film you didn't like. Anyway, it happens. Well, after the first reactions came out, a bunch of other people who were in the exact same screening as those people who gave the first reactions came out And while some of them certainly liked the film, a lot of them didn't. Because right now, Venom the Last Dance is sitting at a 37%. That's not good. (laughs) You know what's funny, though? At 37%, it's still a better score than the first Venom got. So if you're somebody like me who's really looking forward to Venom 3, if you want to look on the bright side, if you want to try to find the silver lining... Oh my gosh, Venom The Last Dance has a 7% higher score than the first Venom did. So if you want to be an optimist, like me. So maybe the audience will be like an 82 or 83. Well, see, that's the funny thing, though, right? It doesn't have much variance with the audience. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. This is one of those franchises where, for whatever reason, the audiences just seem to like the movie more, like... Nine times out of ten, the audience scores and the the critic scores line up within the same quarter. They're right? very close. They'll always be within like nine times out of ten, they'll be within twenty five percent or one quarter of the score. They'll be within that twenty five percent window of each other. This is one of those movie franchises, though. Yeah, that just never has. Um, and I don't know why it does that way. On for Venom, I I, I really don't know what it is for Venom. Yeah, that does that. Uh, and I haven't seen it myself. Now, who knows? I may walk out of Venom later tonight because I will do an out-of-theater reaction. I may walk out of Venom tonight and go, my God, this this thing went downhill. Right. Or maybe I'll love it like I did the first one. But, and you know, and here's the same thing, right? <clears throat> you got to understand that these people who put out the first reactions and these people who are putting out the reviews are out, they were all in the same screenings. They were all in the same screenings. Because I already saw some people saying, oh, that just goes to prove that the people who do the first reactions just, they want to make sure they have that access. Well, these people writing the bad reviews for Venom were in the exact same screening and they're putting out a negative review. 
Mm -hmm. So it's not like one's being honest and one isn't. Like, I totally believe everybody who wrote a first reaction and said they liked it, I totally believe they liked it. And the ones who put out a first reaction and said they didn't like it, but still thought it was the best of the trilogy, I believe they're being honest and they didn't actually like it. But it's the same people. They're all coming out of the same bucket. So it is going to be interesting to see um, how this turns out. Again, because that first Venom film um, had a 30%, but had an 80% audience rating. Right. And I'm one of those 80%. I love the film. You know what's interesting is that, you know, they they were within like 4% on the audience score, but there was a $350 million difference at the box office. So oh, I, yeah. I wonder how that's going to track for this third one. Yeah, I... I mean, Tiger Mask and Live Chat saying, but the negative reviews weren't first reactions. Well, but there were negative first reactions. Yeah, there reactions. were. They were like, like this is thing. terrible, yeah. but it's better than, you know. Yeah, there, there, there were. We read some of them. There were negative reviews in the first reactions. There were positive reviews in the first reaction. There are positive reviews in the full reviews. There are negative reviews in the full reviews. Uh, but it's just clear that the <laughs> trend continues for Venom, that the uh, critics don't like it, and they never have. Yeah. And But it is ironically enough a higher critic score it's like, than the first venom which i just don't understand yeah, it's like saying well there were dog droppings on my lawn but at least this time i didn't step in them yeah <laughs> i mean we'll and again i might hate the film too i might hate it yeah but uh, we'll find out a little bit later tonight guys we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode miracle made guys it's hot outside and your nighttime bedroom temperature has a huge impact on your sleep quality so if you wake up too hot or too cold i highly recommend you check out miracle made's bed sheets miracle made sheets are inspired by nasa and use silver infused fabrics that are temperature regulating so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long there are just so many things that make these sheets so fantastic we already mentioned the self-cooling properties for better quality sleep but they're also self-cleaning these sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7 percent of bacterial growth leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets no more gross odors so go to trymiracle.com slash campia that's t-r-y-m-i-r-a-c-l-e dot com slash campia to try miracle made sheets today and whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one if you order today you can save over 40 percent and if you use our promo code campia checkout you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20 percent miracle is so confident in their product it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee so if you aren't 100 percent satisfied you'll get a full refund so upgrade your sleep with miracle made go to TryMiracle.com slash Campia and use the code Campia to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's TryMiracle.com slash Campia to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Are you interested in Venom The Last Dance? I still am. I'm excited because I because the critics hated the first movie and I loved it. So we'll see what happens. But the full reviews... Not as kind as the first reactions were. We'll find out. Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.